When we're working inside of Word, it's going to be useful to us to be able to space out exactly where we want words to start horizontally on the page. Now, by default, we have a key on the keyboard called Tab, and when you press Tab, it moves your cursor over just a little bit. But by using Tab Stops on the ruler, we can control exactly where that position goes every time we press Tab. So using tabs is really going to help us align up text on our document and place it exactly where we want it to go horizontally. And this can be a bit of a challenge without tabs. For example, let's say on my document here, I want my name to start here. And then on the right hand side, I want the date. Well, that can be tricky without tabs because to get my text, my cursor over there so I can type, I'd maybe have to, I could try using the right align, but that's going to move all my text with it. So that's not going to help put it back to left. I could maybe press the tab key a bunch of times until it gets roughly over there and I could type the date and that would kind of work. But as I go in and add more text, you can see it's breaking down to another line and it's a bit of a pain to work that way. I'm just going to erase all my text here. So tabs will help us with this. To use tabs, we need to see the ruler, which you can turn on by going to the view tab and checking ruler on. And I'll go back to home here. And you can see in between my rulers, I get my little tab symbol like this. And the one we're looking at here is a left tab. And to add a left tab to my ruler, I'm going to simply come out here and click and drag and drop that exactly where I want. So a left tab is going to let me, on this line, press the tab key on the keyboard. And when I press tab, my cursor jumps to that left tab position. And because it's a left tab, as I type, my text starts from the left there and types out to the right like normal text does. And that's pretty cool. I'm going to erase my text here and I'm going to get rid of that tab. So you can have as many tabs on a line as you want. Maybe I want a left tab here and then a left tab here and one here. And again, I can type, press tab, type, tab over type, tab, type. And there we go. I'm just going to erase that text. And again, I'll remove these by clicking and dragging straight down. Keep in mind with these tabs, every line on our document can have their own set of tabs. So maybe I have a tab here and a tab here and a tab over to this and type and tab and type. And I'll press enter to go down to a new line. You can see my tabs are still here on the ruler. I'll tab over, type, tab, type. And I'll go down to a new line now here. And maybe I don't want these tabs on this line. I have to make sure I come in first and remove them. And maybe I'll add in another one. Maybe I wanted one just right here. And I could tab over to that. And now this line has its own tabs. And if I want to see my previous tabs for the line above, I'm going to click in that line and there those tabs show up. So I'm just going to select all and erase all my text here and I'll get rid of my tabs. We have different types of tabs. This is the left one. If I click, I get a center tab here. And with a center tab, I'll say place one out here, tab over to it. And now when I type my text, it stays centered on that tab position. I'll erase that. We also have a right tab here. As I place that on my page, I can tab over to it. Now my text starts from the right and types out to the left like this. And I'm just going to erase that. So this would be a good one when we're in our example where I'm going to have my name on the left and my date on the right. And you can see to get back to my left tab, as I click, there's actually more tabs in here. But I'm going to keep clicking until I go around to my left tab. And I'm going to say place a left tab here on this side. And then I'll find a right tab and place one here on this side. And so here on this line, I'll tab over to my first stop, which is right here. I'll type my name, tab over to my next one. And here I can insert the date. And that worked really well for me. Now I can press enter to go down. And before I type the rest of my document, I might want to remove these tabs so I don't accidentally use them. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to select all and erase things like that. So this is especially great for working with things like lists. I could put, say, a left tab here, a left tab here, and maybe one here. And I'll tab over here, and this is name, this is going to be age, this is going to be say, gender. And I can press enter to go down to a new line. And here I can start adding people to the list. Here's name, here you can type age, here you can type gender. And you can just keep going this way until you've got everybody added that you want to. And I'll have to tab over. It's a great way to keep organized 
and very nice to use. So there you have tab stops. The important thing to remember is if you go down to a new line and you no longer intend to use your tabs, remove them before you continue.